Hey folks. So here we have a mystery teardown time. Well, it's not exactly a mystery. I've, uh, this looks pretty obvious. This looks like a fin antenna that's found on top of a car, except it wasn't on top of a car when I found it. It was on the ground uh, in a field uh, as I was walking the dog. Usually a lot of my mystery finds occurs when I'm walking the dog. And here, another mystery was ne next to the, uh, what looks like the fin antenna from a car was this thing, which uh, after doing a little search, seems to be a telematics unit or module made by LG. That's it right there. And you can see it's got IMEI number. So this connects to the, uh, it connects to the cloud with some antennas. I'm assuming this got ripped off a car at some point and tossed into a field. Question is why? Does anyone have any idea? Was it just old? Did somebody want to replace it? Was the car junked? Was it some kind of a vehicle theft issue where somebody uh, didn't want the vehicle tracked? I don't know. Please leave it in the comments and let me know. But uh, before we continue to ponder that question, we're gonna open this thing up. And I have, uh, they're all uh, Torx screw bits here. So we're gonna remove this thing and um, bear with me a minute, I have not opened this up. I don't know what's inside, I don't know how damaged it is, I don't know how long it's been sitting there, and I'm sure it rained a few times since I actually uh, got in there and picked it up. And I'm also wondering what this thing is. I mean, how do you install these without ripping a hole in your car? I don't know. Was that on the inside of the car? Because it looks like it was bent. Did somebody just peel it off the top of the car? Good question. Maybe someone who's uh, dealt with these things knows. Okay, so there, let's remove the cover. Can we remove the cover? Or is it connected more? Uh, so I've got all of the screws off, but I have a feeling that this part here might actually be holding it in place because this is not coming off. Oh, there it goes. Ah, all right. Interesting, so here is the fin, and that's just a plastic cover. And what we have here is some interesting stuff. So we've seen these before. Um, this is a very interesting looking contraption. I'm assuming that's some kind of antenna. It's like a spring almost, right? This is some kind of ceramic uh, antenna module. There's another one here with some kind of a thing on top of it. It's got an arrow. There's some sponge material and a sheet metal piece going on here. It's interesting. I've never seen that before. And we have this other antenna. Have a look at this. It's like a little spiral coming up. See, it goes up, circles around, and then another one goes back. It's uh, it goes through the hole, I guess and then comes through the other side, I don't know. Very, very interesting. Um, and then I'm, I'm not gonna unscrew this from the base, uh, unless you want me to, I guess I can. Here, let's remove the boards. But I'm assuming that under here, because I'm gonna toss all this anyway, I have no use for it at all. And, uh, you know, it was just found like this, cut. Somebody ripped it off the car and cut the wires. And why, I don't know, but uh, if we remove these boards, we'll see what's under here. Uh, come on, I'm looking through the, my camera here, so I can't see properly. There we go. Okay, so those are two of the wires. Let's slide that out. Anything on the back of this? Not really. Okay. Some transistors there. Maybe resistors or diodes on board. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, interesting stuff. Okay, so that's one of the antennas. Perhaps a GPS antenna or some other thing, Wi-Fi, I'm not sure. That's one. And let's see the other one. It's this little single module 
on a board separately. And we can unscrew this guy. One more. And here. Okay, and that's the other one. And what's on the back of this? Oh, a little bit more. A little bit more going on on the back of this. Let's zoom in. Okay. But uh, yeah, not sure what that is. So those are the two components on the under the antenna on the fin. Okay, now let's move on to our next component. Here we have the module for the uh, telematics unit. Now it looks beaten up, case bottom. So I guess it sits like this, connects to the car interface there. I'm assuming this goes off to the antenna, but yeah, let's find out what this is and what's going on inside. So uh, on this side, there is a little picture of a battery, plus minus. Let's open this up here. And lo and behold, we have a battery in here connected to this thing. Let's take that out. Okay. Who knows, maybe this thing was tracking me all this time. Because I don't know if this battery was uh, has this charged or not. And I'm assuming it gets charged up by the vehicle. And, um, you know, if it's pulled out of the vehicle, depending on how long it's sitting there, uh, see lithium ion battery. Not sure how long this will last, 10.8 watt hours. I don't know how many watts this module uses, but it could be that this is discharged and plus without the antenna sitting in a field for a while, probably wasn't able to really send out much of a signal. All right, so let's see what else we can find in here. Okay, open up all of these screws here on the metal can. Here we go. Uh, it is pretty busy in there, but I think it's hanging on for dear life. Oh, this might explain it. There are a few more things here that are holding the can on the back here. There and here. lost my screwdriver. Uh, there we go. All right. Look at that. A lot of stuff. Okay. Now, if we can only get this out, uh, it does seem to be loose. It was sandwiched on the board there. Uh, but obviously it's still being held down by something. There's nothing down those holes there. Those are empty. And I don't feel anything under the sticker. There's nothing there. Uh, so yeah, let's figure out why this is not coming off. What's holding it in? Mm. It's on this side. Is it just taped down or is there a screw holding the board? There's nothing there. Mm. Okay, I think there's something here. That's empty. Yeah, and this side, this part here is, you can see is moving, but there's something holding it there. There's a, a connector. So how do we get this board out? Oh, 
Oops, there we go. Seems like it's just the connector. That's some crazy connector right there. You see that? It bent. I had to bend it to get it out. So yeah, it was it was stuck into this thing. Oh, there we go. It slides out. That's why I didn't realize that. And it's got some sink, uh, some heat sink on it. Okay, so it looks like it went in like this somehow. Um, there. It was attached like this. That's the connector. And it slides out like that. Those are all the pins. Okay, so let's have a look at this board. And this cover CCM modified, AL5052. So there's quite a, um, I'm not sure what this is, maybe some kind of amplifier chip here? What does this say? Gen 11 NA revision. Okay, we can look under here, potentially. This is this magnetic. Let's see what's under this heat sink. Okay. Yeah, it's just heat sink, aluminum heat sink. And there is a chip. That's heat sink compound there. And can we see what's there? Qualcomm MDM9240. Okay. Qualcomm MDM9240 is under that can. Okay. This cover comes off as well now. That uh, that screw is off. Okay. And that's the back side. Also heat synced on the bottom side of that chip. That's the some kind of heat thermal transfer foam and here we have it okay so under this thing here there's a number of components maybe I'll tear that down in a future video and now the main board this connects in I guess from the car goes into here there's a lot of stuff on here um, We'll have to pry off these cans at some point and see what's underneath. But uh, looks like there might have been supposed to be something populating this IC400, but it's missing. Um, maybe different models have different chips. Okay, but that's it. So you have this unit, okay, that connects into here using this very interesting uh, connector slides in like that except I think I broke it did I break it yeah I think I broke I snapped it in the corner here because I didn't slide it out properly but this slides in here like so there went in like that this is floating above there was, remember there was a can on top of it before this cover so that would have been sitting uh, this way right because the interface was like this and then uh, it was all inside of here so there you have it some kind of telematics unit lg from a car whatever was inside the pin antenna ripped out and thrown into the side of the field so hope you enjoyed this tear down and uh, if you have any other um, input feedback or suggestions as to what this is all about maybe somebody is upgrading their system on their car or you know if you have any other ideas as to why this would have been uh, sort of thrown out individually uh, on in a field 
without any hint of a car near, nearby, um, please let me know and leave it in the comments. But uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.